When you could use a little help getting started with the CorelDRAW project, it's sometimes nice to start with a template. In CorelDRAW 2019, the templates interface has been redesigned to make it easier for you to find templates, save your own templates, and install a large collection of ready-made templates directly from Corel. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial to try out the steps yourself. There are several ways I can access templates. When I first open Corel Draw and the Get Started space is showing in the welcome screen, I have a New From Template button. The list of templates here are just a starter pack. There are many more I can get online from Corel, as I'll show in a bit. I can adjust the size of the template thumbnails with this slider, and I can click a thumbnail to see an enlarged version. The New From Template window also has a Get More icon, which opens the Get More window. Another way to access this window is from the Get Started screen, where the Get More link is down here. I'll open Content, scroll down to find the Business Pack, and download and install. Once installed, I can find this pack in the My Library tab. I'll go back to the Get Started space and click New from Template. Now, in My Templates window, I can find these listed under All Templates or Corel Templates. There are 150 templates in this collection, several in each category. In the Business Card category, I'll choose this Business Card template. Clicking the Properties icon displays some details about the template, such as tags, number of sides, and category. I can click the Folder icon to see where templates are stored. To open this template, I can double-click its thumbnail or click Open. Now I can use this template as the basis for my own business card. I'll use the Objects Docker to see the various objects I can change or replace. For my new card, I've made a few changes to the graphics, curves, fills, and text. Now I want to save this document as a template so that I can use it to produce business cards for each employee. I'll choose File, Save as Template. The default templates folder is where I'll save it, though I could save it elsewhere. I'll name it ABC Business Card and save it. I'll change the title, and I can enter tags to make it easier to search for this template. For example, I'll enter ABC and the address. The category is already Business Card, like the template from which it was changed. I'll click Save. As we've seen, for a new document I could use the New From Template button in the Welcome screen. But if I'm already in a CorelDRAW document and don't see the Welcome screen, I can choose File, New From Template. Because I saved my business card in the default template folder, I see it right here. But if this list were long and I didn't see my template right away, I could filter by category. Or I could search for a tag, such as ABC. I'll clear the search field. Another way to find this template is to filter the list to show My Templates. This shows all templates created by me that were saved in the default folder. I'll open the template, and I only have to edit these lines for a different employee. Then I would use File, Save As to create a document for this employee. Now say I've created a several page presentation document that I want to use as a template. This document has default styles set for fonts, shapes, curves, etc. I'll choose File, Save As Template. This time I don't want to use the default template folder, I want to use a folder I've set up for presentations. I'll browse to this folder and save it there. I'll assign it a name, and I can use the existing category of presentations, though if needed, I could create a new category. Now when I start a new document and use New From Template, I'll need to browse to the right folder. If I click the Folder Options icon here, choose Browse, and find the Presentation Template folder, I would be making this folder the new default for opening templates, but if I don't want to change the default, I'll click No. I could also find the template by clicking the Open Folder Location icon, though I'd have to do this each time if I'm not changing the default template location. What I can do to make this presentation easily findable is to click the All Templates drop-down and choose Add New. I'll click Create Alias, browse and select the folder, 
and now my template is listed. For future documents, I'll be able to click the same drop-down and find this folder. I can also right-click on a template and make it a favorite. For future documents, I can choose Favorites from the drop-down to find this template. For any template listed under Favorites, I could right-click and remove its favorite status. When I open this template and create new curves, shapes, or text, the default styles set in the template will be used. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on templates in CorelDRAW. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial to try out the steps yourself.